Hey guys, it's me again. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good day. Um, wasn't on yesterday because I was going through a little personal stuff. But anywho, um, I wanted to talk about, right, I was listening to Evo in the morning on um, Hot 97. And he was saying how Kanye West literally gave him a phone call. Well, he called somebody else to call him first to get the number, whatever. Then he gave him a phone call asking for a way to get in touch with Colin Kaepernick to be able to get that talk with the president and Colin Kaepernick. Now, oops, sorry. Now, my issue with all of that which that Ebro said no. He said actually Ebro said we are not doing that. Those were his exact words. And he said we because he is saying that, you know, Colin Kaepernick is backed up by a lot of people. He's not standing alone, which I love that. Like, yes, stand for the rights of humans. Like we should not be afraid of the police. We should not have to suffer you know, I'm Latina. I've seen, you know, so many horrible things in Boston. Like, seriously. We don't want to think that the cops are out to get us just because of our race. But it's happening. They want to meet their quotas, you know. And I feel that if Colin Kaepernick would go and meet with the president, is this going to make some people think that he agrees with the president in any way and that's a scary thought like seriously agreeing with that president is scary like the thought that we have this president scares the shit out of me like i can't wait for the for this to be over like i wish he would get impeached i can't stand it he's a disgrace and i'm so glad that Ebro was like, no, you're not getting that number because he's not taking no picture with no president. He's not having no discussion because the president don't give a fuck. Plain and simple, he don't. And that's the end of my story.